Big tech names, pay close attention to Microsoft, not just because I own it, but because it's a Dow stock, and it's one of the biggest drags on the Dow with a loss of nearly 70 cents. The only big tech name that's up at the moment is Facebook, and that's only up a fraction. But do take a look at Amazon. Our next guest says that company will be the first to reach a $2 trillion valuation, not Apple. To get to $2 trillion, Amazon stock has to double and a bit more from where it is now. Keith Fitzgerald made the call. Come on in, Keith, and make your case. Go. Absolutely. Four key businesses here. Artificial intelligence, entering your home, big data, and, of course, distribution into advertising. That's the four business segments that are going to move it faster and farther than Apple, which is now under Tim Cook's leadership, falling behind in the home market. Okay, forget Apple for a second. Keep, go back to Amazon. At what point does its stock price double? How long does it take for it to double to get to $2 trillion? I am still working on the math, Stuart. It varies with each earnings season, but I'm saying 24 months, possibly less. Why don't they split? I mean, companies, up and comers, they used to get to a certain size and then they'd split so a lot more people could buy 100 shares, 100 share lot. Why doesn't Amazon split? You know, I've asked myself the same question, Stuart, but I think that Jeff Bezos has figured out that it is better to keep it together because then he doesn't have to cope with all the different reporting. He doesn't have to worry about which segment is more valuable. Right now, with all the businesses in one unit, he can use the revenues from one Amazon Web Services to feed growth in the others. That makes sense. You also say, by the way, that Alibaba is the only company that can give Amazon a real run for its money. Again, make that case. Absolutely. You're talking about a company that's operating where you've got 1.3 billion people in the addressable market. You have more people joining the middle class in the immediate Asian growth area than populate this entire country. You've got operating margins all about entrepreneurship in that part of the world, faster, better, consistent growth than Amazon here. Own both. So, yeah, okay, for long-term investors, you're saying buy Alibaba, buy Amazon. Don't be put off by the high prices. Buy them now. Yes? Bingo. Wow. What's his name? It takes a strong <laughs> summit, a very strong summit, uh, stomach, I should say, to do that. Uh, I want to talk to you about Tesla. I believe the stock is now, yeah, $300 a share, but you think it's going to be cut in half. It might go all the way down to 150 Again, I keep using this expression, make your case. <laughs> You bet, Stuart. This is all about the unbelievable. I think Musk believes in his own legend. As clever as he is, he's counting on another financing that won't have a diluted impact. I think the fact that his chief accounting officer went out the door tells me that there's something funny going on with the numbers, and I wouldn't be surprised to see some reckless accounting. And if that comes to light, share price, psh, out it goes. And if it ever does go down to 150 will Keith Fitz be a buyer? You know, I'm going to be looking very seriously at it because I think the technology is redeemable, but I think it's going to be far more likely that a bigger player comes in, either partners or acquires that. All right, Keith, you, you always keep things short, sharp, and mm -hmm. to the point, and you did it very well Just with three like different it. stocks today. <laughs> we like that. Yeah. That's Varney and Company style. <laughs> Keith, we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much.